Good evening, everybody. My name is Stefano Albertini. I'm the director of Casa Italiana Zeri di Marimo, where you are, here at New York University. And I met my first Pugliesi in New York, and they were members <laughs> of Rosi, Cati, and Josephine Pietanza. And it's thanks to them that I got to know the, the Pugliesi, this beautiful community here in New York. And this evening is brought to you also by the United Pugliesi Federation and by We Are Puglia, and we have John Mustaro, who is the president of the United Pugliesi Federation, and Maria Galetto is the vice president of We Are Puglia. Let me tell you something. Puglia, that was not very well known until like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, <laughs> now in this country has an incredible name recognition. This is something very, very important when you're trying to sell things and when you're trying to promote your country as a touristic destination. And in my head, I thought that there are basically three reasons why Puglia has become uh, a, an ideal destination, a, a land that produces uh, foods that are very much coveted here. And one is the randomness of things. Always there is a journalist who has a girlfriend who lives in this village and then discovers the whole province and writes a beautiful article and then that region immediately becomes um, popular. The other thing is the work that the region as an institution does to promote its territory, its products, and its touristic destination. And I have to say, exactly. And I have to say that being here, I was talking to Bruno before, um, we see all 20 regions. And I have to say that the region of Puglia has moved very, very well throughout the years in the promotion of its culture, of its products, of its land. And so that is very important. But the third, and I think the most important factor, is the one that you played. Because I think a lot of it has to do with the love that the Pugliesi have for their own land and the pride that they have and the fact that they talk about their land and the peculiar things and the beautiful things that happen there. So I think that was the most effective form of publicity and promotion. And that's why you can have a movie entitled La Grande Guerra del Salento and people in New York and in the States happen to know what Salento is. You know how many other beautiful destinations in Italy are completely unknown? Many, many, many. So Pugliese, you did a great, great job in the love for your region, and through the love for your region, you helped promote it to the people that didn't know it. So this evening, we have uh, the fortune of screening a film. It's an American premiere. And the film is based on this book by Bruno Contini, La Grande Guerra del Salento. It's a novel. Is that Eugenia Paulicelli? Eugenia, vieni, 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 vieni. De che? Professor Eugenia Paulicelli uh, from uh, Queen's College, a dear colleague, e Pugliese, uh, lei stessa. <laughs> bentornata a casa, Eugenia, bentornata. And a great friend of the casa. Um, and I'm delighted that she's the one that is going to be in conversation uh, with Professor Bruno Contini because they were, they're going to have a dialogue after the screening of the film. So I told you, it all starts with this book by Bruno Contini. Bruno, vieni sul palco. Um, who wrote this book based on a true story, right? And really, really, it's a, it's a story mm, my father told me about when I was a teenager. So I thought it was important for me to, to retell it because it was going to, to be lost. And so I, I worked so hard. I did many research based on also on um, testimonies, witnesses. And uh, I said, I must write this story. I must write this story, I said. So it was uh, um, very lucky for me to meet uh, Marco Pollini, the, um, the producer. I, I saw, so uh, yeah, yes. But I will tell you something in there when uh, the interview we, we, we will be going on. Very ah, uh, good. So, um, anything else you want to tell the audience when to keep in mind while they watch your film? Ah, in particular, the the film is uh, there is many uh, uh, there is many action. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I must say that you, you have to see the film before. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you for being here. I recommend that you stay for the Q&A at the end of the screening. Enjoy the screening. Enjoy the film.
So congratulations and welcome. Uh, this is a fantastic uh, story. Uh, uh, very rich. Uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Yeah. I'm very proud to be here, honored instead. Believe me, very, very happy. <laughs> yes, this is a fantastic place. It's one of the best uh, places in New York City for the promotion of uh, Italian culture and cinema. So you will be I know, happy I know that. To I know. Be here. So um, I, I would like to start asking you, uh, how did you retrieve this story? Because this is a true story. Yeah. And so how did it happen? Um... <laughs> I, I, wrote, I wrote this, I wrote some notes, you know, because I, I wanted to, to express in the better way. Uh, I lost my fluency in English, so maybe I, I can have some difficulties. <laughs> so I, for, I ask you to, for, to forget me. Uh, Pope Giovanni the second, Papa, Papa Giovanni said, se mi sbaglio corrigetemi. <laughs> voi mi ma se mi sbaglio voi mi, ri mi ricorrigerete um, I'm going to introduce my brief speech by saying that the story told in the novel The Great Salento War is a true story that I wrote and published it in 2018 and it's based on a tale my father told me when I was a teenager. This story in 2020 was reported by Marco Pollini, our film producer, in the movie you have, ju you have Just Seen. I don't know why my father wanted to tell me this story at all costs. Maybe he felt compelled to do that. He insisted in doing that. But today, as an adult, I can explain myself the reason. That is, as a good father, he certainly wanted to teach me how bad action and bad behaviors in life can lead to extreme consequences. Maybe this is the only reason for me. Can I? Um, no, thank you very much for this. So this is a true story. You didn't know anything about it, uh, but your father actually uh, told, me that. told me told you a story. So did he ever mention that he lived through? You know, I'm sure he lived through that uh, those events. Uh, yes. He, so he was. Yes, uh, you are from Supersano. Yes. So, yes, right? yes, so I'm, you I'm are from, from one of yes. the two towns. Yes, I'm from uh, I Involved uh, in this story because you know the my father lived the story. Yes. I, in fact, but the uh, interesting uh, the richness. Of, uh, of the stories that we have uh, personal uh, involvement, personal uh, yes, it was, uh, emotions, it but also political, you yes. know, it's against the political and it's so very important. Uh, so we have 1948, yes. uh, the direction of Italy was decided yes. at that decided, point, yes, uh, and then 49, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, NATO uh, pact, and then the beginning of Cold War. Uh, yeah. Can you, you know, what uh, do you think about this? The way you know mm, it's been also from your novel uh, to the films. This is this personal. In, in 1984, 1989, Italy was on it, on its on, it, on its knees. Every everywhere, destruction, anger, unemployment. Everybody was armed. Lutti, come si dice? Lutti. Lutti, Lutti, morti. Ok, 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 ok. okay. Cosa vuole dire? Okay. Sì. Uh, yeah. uh, so, quindi... Uh, no. 1948, 1948, 1944 mm -hmm. was the, the, the championship. And, and the main... Uh, um, Cause 
that uh, brought to, to this uh, event was mainly the, um, the contrast between the two protagonists, as you, you, you have seen, Don Alfred and, um, mm -hmm. and uh, Ernesto. Ernesto. Mm -hmm. They were different in, char in characters. Mm -hmm. I can say that the one were, was positive, the other one was negative. Also Alfred, politically. Also politically, yes. Um, Ernesto was um, uh, a good man. He was a trader. He was um, he trade. He was a trader of wine and of oil. Mm -hmm. He he looked forward for the for the future in Italy, for for the economic development in Sversano, while the other protagonist um, was uh, um, an ex um, former a former yes. a former fascist. Yeah. A general, a, a, a general in uh, in pension, a pensioner. Uh, uh, and uh, yes, uh, it was uh, uh, it was bad, as you can see. He thought that he didn't uh, win. He didn't uh, lose war, and he wanted to make another one to win it. That is. The Great Salento War. That's why I, I called it. Um, it was um, uh, it was bad. It was uh, it, it, it wanted to win the um, the match through violence. Also, the, so, no, the because he wanted to uh, um, voleva affermare la sua il suo carisma all'interno del Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. wanted to reaffirm his power within his town. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, so that he wanted to win, to win at all costs the, um, the, the match, the match and the championship. Mm -hmm. Because winning the match uh, also had the symbolic uh, yeah. meaning. Supremacy. So it's, uh, it's Supremacy. Not, he wanted to demonstrate that it was sport, uh, but it, it was it was uh, the best, the best yeah. than. Uh, than uh, above, so then there is a lot of violence. Uh, uh, not all of it is uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The citizen, immediately political. Yes, the citizen, also, the citizen uh, follow them mm -hmm. because they depended on on them mm -hmm. because they they received the job um, job. Yes, they. Uh, the uh, employment, uh, they receive employment um, in the land. In the uh, land, one is so the landowner. In, in the land the so they followed, the, they followed him, they followed them, and uh, they were blind. Mm -hmm. They were blind because, um, in some way, they depended on on, on them. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, but we have also this kind of you know, different characters, like the, the youngest yeah. generation, the two young men, uh, Giulio and Antonio, and the women. I think maybe you yeah. want to say something in. Uh, we can say that we can say that from in the novel there there are uh, so many themes. Mm -hmm. There are the theme of uh, violence, violence in the, in, the, in football. Antonio was the first. Football, uh, the first fan to die in Italy for mm -hmm. for politi for uh, for um, yeah. sport disorder yeah, yeah. for football disorder mm -hmm. and um, what, what I will say um, in the novel you said there were these characters uh, uh. because you worked also in the uh, script I saw you, yes. you collaborated with the director. Yes, also I, I, I also collaborated in the, in the, yeah. in the script. Yes, when, you with want uh, to, to say with something about how you render the characters, you know, from the novel. Uh, into yes, the see, um, diciamo che um, scrivere una sceneggiatura è diverso da, da scrivere una, un romanzo, ovviamente. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to write a script is very different from writing a novel. Perché. Um, E ovviamente bisogna far parlare i, i personaggi e poi, e poi bisogna anche ambientare, eh, mm -hmm. ambientare le, la situazione. 
in which to set the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in fact, uh, uh, if you want, I can posso dire in italiano e traduco. Come vuoi, sì. Se, se, se no, 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 ma ah, ti capisco. Okay. So, uh, about the environment, because, you know, this also is a film uh, uh, that is uh, also the Apulia Film Commission. Uh, 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 yes. So this is also a film that the Apulia Film Commission, which is very active in the production of uh, contemporary yes. uh, cinema um, uh, in Italy. Um, and so it is, uh, I would like to know from you, in terms of the uh, places that we see on the screen, uh, uh, it's set, of course, in Puglia, uh, this beautiful countryside. <laughs> Uh, also, we see, you know, within this tragedy and the story, we also see other uh, features of this particular uh, land, you know, the wine, the beautiful things produced, etc. So I would like to know from you if you can identify some of these places that we see on screen. Are there Super Sun or yes, Rufa, you know, where, where, are, uh, where are located? Yes. I'm from Super Sano and uh, I helped uh, Marco Pollini to find the place. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, um, uh, the Super Sano and Rufano are two uh, very near um, villages. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, sono, sono paesi consanguinei. Sono paesi they are consa brother, brother towns. Sono, sono fratelli. So sono mm -hmm. fratelli, sono cognati, sono figli. They can e, be two, e, two brothers. Eh, but they can fight against each other. E un giorno, e un giorno decisero di farsi la guerra. Dimenticando, dimenticando appunto di essere di avere questi rapporti. Mm. Mm. E quindi eh, abbiamo trovato insieme a Pollini i, questi luoghi. Um, are they from Supersano? I mean, the yes, church? Yes, for yes, yes, the yes. Okay. They are the places yeah. from Supersano mm -hmm. and Fano. Um, and I, I want to tell you how I met uh, Marco Pollini. Mm -hmm. uh, one day, uh, a friend of mine called me and said that uh, there was a person who wanted to, to talk. I asked, but, um, who is it? Who is he? Uh, I don't know him. He lives in my bed in my in my bed and bed and break. Bed, uh, he's a tourist. He's, he's, in the he's bed not bed from bed. Puglia, yeah. Pollini. Pollini no, no, no. is not Veronese. Uh, Verone. okay. He comes from Verona. Interesting. Okay. He was staying in this uh, B and B and wanted to meet me. I didn't know him. So I decided to I decided to go and, and meet him at the seaside. Uh, he introduced himself saying that he was a producer. And was interested to a director, to, no? a director, director. director mm -hmm. yeah, to to work on uh, a script. Mm -hmm. he, he asked me if I, I, I could help him, and, and I ac accepted. He was because he had I read was, your novel. I was, no? He had read your novel. Yes, he had read, he had read my, my my novel, mm -hmm. and said it was already a film. Ah, <laughs> I, I like I like. He found the book. Oh, and he yeah. Read it there. Oh, wow. That's a, that's so a fortuitous. Because he had read the book in the bed and breakfast, he asked the owner. It was the a bed and breakfast. Who was the author? Do you know who is the author? And the owner of the bed and breakfast said, oh, Look, he's a friend of mine. I can call him. <laughs> and so he called the Professor Contini. And Professor Contini went and met um, Marco Pollini, the director. And that's how the movie so, started. So we, so we decided to work on the script. And of course, we, we aspired to, to win the, um, the bando. bando di vincere un bando. Sì. Oh, it's a competition. We applied, we competition. applied for funding uh, yeah. from the Apulia Film Commission. And the Apulia Film Commission uh, approved the, 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 the application. And and so, by the Apulia Film Commission. And so we did the, the, the film. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's, uh, you know, it's interesting because this can happen in a small town, right? <laughs> so this is, because we always think, you know, big cities, big, but, you know, all these uh, incredible uh, encounters can happen. And so it was, you know, thanks to the, uh, the, the proximity, <laughs> the proximity uh, of you being there and all, you know, all sort of... Uh, I think, I think it, it's... Um, it's uh, a fortune. Yes. But I think that uh, if uh, Paulini wouldn't uh, uh, find interesting the novel, mm -hmm. he wouldn't work on it. Yeah, of course. If, yes. if a Pula film yes. wouldn't uh, evaluate uh, the oh, yeah. positively mm -hmm. the, the, the script, wouldn't accept it. So I think that it was a good Absolutely. work. Absolutely, yes. It was yes. a good work. It was a great job. It but was. The, uh, did you participate in the um, in the yeah, filming? In the set. Yes. When you were yes, there? Yes, I was on the set. Oh, you were. I was okay. on the set, and sometime uh, we litigiamo, uh, abbiamo quarrel. We had quarrels. Yes. Uh, we had set. quarrel with Pauline because he tended to uh, to go astray. <laughs> Astray, to go astray. To go astray. Yeah. Can you I give us an example of this? Uh, yes, there is an, an example in the, the film, <laughs> at the end of the film, when an American, an American soldier arrived. Uh -huh. He has a British accent, actually. <laughs> So it was <laughs> British. Because he's British. He's British, yeah, because it, it they had a, um, a NATO, I think, base uh, near Lecce, if I'm not... Uh, uh, Ga Galatina, Pundia, Galatina, Galatina. Galatina. Ah, Galatina. That's why, British but he was Galatina. British. Um, te, eh, stavo dicendo yes the, the, the example of the of the soldier ah, the, the, mm. see, the episode of the, sol the American soldier uh, mm. it is not true because uh, we hadn't the American in Sversano and I said please leave it no <laughs> I'm the, I'm the um, so it was not in the novel in the novel no it's not no. in the novel okay so that's it's some historically it's impossible <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I think I understand the reason why maybe the director wanted to include, <laughs> the, the, uh, you know, a little bit uh, also the direction in which, you know, Italy I think was they, going. Yes, they they, uh, they, do, post, they always know. do that, I and think, the, because they think the film is mine, but the novel is yours. Yeah. But I said, <laughs> but you started your film from a novel. Ah, yes. So, uh, what about the characters, you know, because you wrote the novel, you, saw this, you see these characters in the film, do you feel that they respond to the way you describe them, or what yes. do you think? Yes, uh, mm. I obliged him to, to follow mm -hmm. the story, to follow the description, and even to follow sometimes the dialogue. Okay. Some dialogues in the, in the novel are taken from the... Uh, sometimes uh, or, or in from, the film, from the book. I think from the, from mm. the book. Yes, I followed him behind him. I was always behind him. Please do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, mm -hmm. And sometimes I we we quarrel with him. Uh, uh, one uh, uh, question, maybe I don't know if we want to ask if the audience. I am curious. Uh, you said your father told you the story, but uh, did you go to an archive? To yeah. okay. So yes, where I I wrote the um, the novel not only on the basis of the story my father told me because my father told me that only what he, he knew mm -hmm. but he didn't he didn't uh, knew elaborate the, all, all yes. the all the all the story mm -hmm. so I worked hard in the uh, in uh, the archive mm -hmm. and not only but uh, the I village archive the super yeah, sano mm. ah, but also but I also mm. interviewed many. Witnesses that are not longer there. Yes. They are, they are who were? Uh, yeah. Who were? Okay. The, um, in, at the end of the film, you 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 saw them some photos of the exactly, exactly of the of the Alfred. of the Alnese. Yeah, yeah. yes, I interviewed yes, them. Yes. I interviewed them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they were still alive. Yes. When not only you know, I interviewed okay. them, but, but I had access to the real documents mm -hmm. to the. Um, for the legal, uh, legal, uh, legal, yes, uh, to, to the legal papers, yeah. the, the trial, maybe the trial. And I read, and I read, what did they 
uh, were obliged to say to the uh, prefetto, to al Garabinieri. Yes, yes, it's the, uh, the prefetto. The confession. The confession. I read all the confession. What they said. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I mean the, uh, the the guy who actually shot the yes okay. yes yes he was yes. punished with prison with uh, ergastolo I guess yes uh, no no, no. O only fifteen years of oh, fifteen <laughs> interesting he became blind uh, uh, he became blind mm -hmm. we don't know why <laughs> maybe uh, if somebody has a question did you um, the song was not by Fabrizio De Andrè at the end although the voice was very similar. Okay, this is another. <laughs> yes. Did, um, did Agnese and her husband have children? <laughs> did they have a family? Uh, Agnese, yeah, did they have a family? Yes, yes, he had a family and he had two, two uh, a son and a, and a daughter. Yeah. Great, good. He, <laughs> he cried when, uh, when, he knew, when she knew that. I I wrote the story. She cried with me. Um, uh, I can say that. Yeah, I interviewed. I I even interviewed Agnese. She was. Uh, she, no, she she died. Uh, no, she died four years ago. And he told me the story when his um, his boy, his boyfriend, uh, his boyfriend was uh, Antonio. He told me the, the story when he came back uh, home and, um, and Augustus had uh, hit, eaten him. Uh, and, and when she remembered the, the, the event, she cried. He didn't want to, to talk with me because she felt uh, okay. she, was, uh, she was... She was... Uh, she was about to faint. She was about to faint. She was old. I, I was not... I mi dispiace mi I was very sorry to see that, that woman cry because the description she gave me um, made me also confused um, how, how can I say uh, dispiaciuto sorry yeah. it sorry very pain what also uh, thank you ah, Is there any someone question? Else a, uh, someone else had a question? Okay. Is there someone who has a question? Yeah, if you, if you don't have any question. Grazie. Grazie. Sono molto, sono molto contento. Lo dico in italiano. Eh? Sono molto contento di stare qui a New York. I'm very happy to be in New York and present this film, which has had many uh, recognition. A lot, of a lot of recognition. It won, it won so many awards. awards. In England, it won the best film for... Uh, Liverpool. In Liverpool. Oh, in Liverpool. It oh, won, it won um, an Oscar. Ah, one is it in Canada, Toronto. maybe in Toronto too, but it was he had so many recognition. Yes.